Hello everyone. I just wanted to show you how to manage your Google Docs. I know that for some it's so super intuitive and others like myself it took me a bit to figuring it out and then having some kind of organization so I didn't feel like my documents and things were just kind of lost in Google land. So let me just show you some important tips that will help you. So for instance, maybe you've just gone through the launch training and you have, you've created copies of the scripts or you need to create copies of the scripts, or maybe you're a leader and you have a new builder and you want to share these documents with them and have a folder that they have all their stuff in and that you keep your coaching call notes in. I just want to show you some of the things that you can do to, to kind of manage it so that it's organized from the beginning instead of having to go back and figure it out because that's painful. I know from experience. So if for instance, um, maybe you have this link that has all the different scripts on it. So I'm just going to kind of go from this to show you how to create a copy of it, put it in a folder, create folders, documents, and such. So let's see, let's just go down to inviting script. Links, I'll just put it up here. Okay. So we have this master copy of the inviting script for you. To, you need to make a copy of it. You don't have access to edit it to make it yours. So you just go up to file and then click on make a copy. And then you're going to name it whatever you want to name it. So we're just going to go test, test scripts. And then I'm going to pick a folder. You may not have any folders in your Google Docs. So you might have to just kind of skip that part. Or it might just say My Docs or something. But just go ahead and click OK. And now you have your own copy of this. And it's somewhere in Google Land. So how to make that so you know where it's at is you'll want to click on this button, move to. Actually, first, let's go ahead and make the, document, the folder. So if you go just to your Google Drive, now if you have your Gmail open, I usually just get to it from my Gmail and I click that little box and then I go to Drive. So it will pull up something like this. You may have a different layout. You may have it laid out like this. I have it laid out in um, that kind of format for mine. I just like that. And so what I've done is I've created a folder here on my drive. So you want to make sure that you're on your drive. And I just created a folder called 2017 doTERRA. You could just call it doTERRA, which is fine. But to do that, to create your folder, you go up to new and then just click on folder and put in my doTERRA alpha test. So I put that in there. I have it in alphabetical order, so it just kind of runs right there. So that's my folder. Now, if I want to go back to my test scripts or my scripts that I'm trying to put in, kind of organize my stuff in my Google Drive, then you'll go to that script that you're trying to, that you made a copy of, and you want to move it to. You just go back to where it, basically these are subfolders and I'm moving back to where it's actually at. So now I'm on my drive. So we just created a folder in on my drive that was called my doTERRA. So I'm just going to go down to it. My doTERRA test. So I click on that and that's where I moved it to. Move here, okay. Now if I come back to my drive, you'll see there's that folder and if I double click, now in that folder are my test scripts. And so anytime you have something um, that you're making a copy of, you'll want to make the copy of it and put it into that folder so that it's organized. Now let's just say you had an upline or somebody share a Google Doc or folder or something with you. You'll find those here where it says shared with me. So you'll click on shared with me. And these are docs or folders or files that people have shared with me. And they're in this other little land of, of folders. And if you want to move that to your drive, then you would right click on your mouse 
and you would just click add to my drive. So I would add that one to my drive. And then when you click on my drive, you'll find all of your Google stuff. Um, yours should be as messy as mine or as many as mine. Um, but if you have a hard time finding where that one just came in at, you could actually um, just search it. So Kareen, whatever it was, this is the one that I just moved to my drive. Then once it's moved to your drive, so let's say your upline shared the scripts with you and you found them in your shared folder and you have it open, then you want to do that same thing as just move it to my drive after you've created or move it to that folder that you want after you've moved it to your drive. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So again, if somebody shares a folder with you, let me close that. You will find it in here. You can, you can go ahead and search it and you'll find it. It will just be still in the shared drive. And so when you come back, every time you have to search it, it's not in an organized folder. What's nice when it's in an organized folder, you can even pull it up on your phone, download the, the Google Docs app or the um, Google Drive app. And you can pull up stuff. You can pull the scripts up right from your phone and be able to use them when you're teaching or practicing or whatever you're doing. So what I like to have for um, new builders, and if you're a new builder, this is what you should have. Have your folder, and in that folder, you should have your, um, so this is my personal building I'm going to click on. So you want to have your, where do I get an example of it? So these are my leaders. I have a folder for each of them. And in their folder is our coaching call notes. They have their um, leadership foundation tracker. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it until you learn about it. Then your sales tracker, which you should um, learn about. This is just where you track the people that you have talked to, whether in a class or a one-on-one. -on -one. You just keep track of them. So in each folder, that's the, that's the minimum of what it should have. Let me see a face, yeah. So you have a coaching call notes, the, track, the sales tracker, and then eventually the sales foundations tracker, leadership foundation tracker. I need that one wrong. Then what you do is, if I were your leader, then what I do is I just right click and I share this with that person. So I just put in here, Faye, and click done, and that would share the folder with her. She would find this folder, she'd get an email and she could click on it, but if she comes to her Google Drive, she can just click on shared with me, and she would find that folder that I shared with her. She'll want to right click on the folder, and then move it to her drive, so that it would show up in her drive, and then when we both go into it, it doesn't move it on my, in my drive, it just moves it in her drive so she has a better way of locating it. And then when we go in and we have our call, we have our coaching call notes that we can just keep a running tally of and keep track of that. So if you are a leader, you can create the folder for your leader. Just go up to new, create the folder, and then you can copy the, the files that you want to have in that folder. So if it's the scripts, if it's um, the sales tracker, if it's your creating a document for your coaching notes, you can create that all for your new builder and then just share it with them and help them to know how to use Google Drive and their um, folders and create that or have them watch this training and have it completed. But if you had a leader who shares something with you, that's how you can do it and just kind of keep it manageable. Uh, so it's not like this big mess in Google Drive.